what's going on sinners today i am going to fill my asks in finally but you know i'm a busy woman so we're gonna be doing it some while sitting down and then some while doing errands so hopefully the stores that we go to let us film because usually so the first question is from you're my homie how long have you been making videos on youtube so i posted my first video december 2016 and that video is called hey yeah he was in it uh that video is called bar fire our first vlog and it was on our anniversary hey and um, I started streaming in February of Ayo. this year. This is gonna be a great video. Christian asks if you had <laughs> if, you, if you had twins, what would you name them? Um, Beavis and Butthead. No, Phoebe and Phoebo. No. Um, what? Um, I would name them Cersei and Jamie. How's that? They so like it, Tyrion? I like it. I like the name Tyrion. Tyrion? Okay. Yeah. Stop. You hear me? I can't control that. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Alright, Synthetic Empire asks, alright, Sin Sin, serious question. What's your favorite type of cereal? Ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would. I don't know, I don't really eat a lot of cereal, but I, I am gluten free and I think the only cereal right now that I can find that's gluten free and has no corn, because I don't like corn, is Cheerios. So I'm really boring. But as a kid, I really loved Lucky Charms. I loved the marshmallows in that basically. That's the only thing I ate. Tom Frost asks, did you put that cat on a diet yet? She's not fat, okay? She's just very hairy. Huh. <laughs> oh, the little baby. Huh. Huh. All right, Junior Fabian asks, what was your dream college? Um, I wanted to go to film school uh, for UCLA or USC, one of those. I really wanted to go to film school. But uh, I didn't, as you can tell. Are you Lonnie that played with Cap God? No, hun, I'm sorry, I'm not. Um, I didn't even know Capron until he raided me one time and if you guys were there you know that he raided really hardcore and they donated and everything like that so I was able to get the Xbox so yeah I'm not Lonnie but Lonnie if you're out there hi thank you thank you oh yeah um, all right David Ramirez asks will you play Friday on Xbox um, I really want to play Friday on Xbox but as most of you guys know if you've been watching my streams lately that Xbox is not letting me buy games for whatever reason I'm not sure um, but I can't buy the games it will start like loading like with the circle as if I'm going to complete the purchase and then it'll shoot me back to the main menu and I've tried buying it from my phone and from my computer and from the Xbox and it's just not working so hopefully I get that done especially because I want to play with my Xbox viewers but uh, Xbox, you can get the Savini Jason, and I really, really want to play the Savini Jason, so I'm looking forward to that. So yes, I will be, hopefully in the future, buying Friday the 13th for Xbox. All right, Rotted Weeds asks, when, if ever, are you going to share your Amazon wish list? Just wondering. Um, I know you specifically, you and EA Mix have been asking me for my Amazon wish list, and I will link it below. I think it's weird, like you don't have to buy it for me, but yeah, just so you know what I'm into, I guess I'll link it below for you guys in the description, so check that out. Alright, Dylan Cozart asks, do you think my dog Bella is cute? Let's see. It's a little wiener dog. Oh, that's a pretty cute dog. <laughs> How cute. How old is she? She looks like a calico cat. I don't think you're going to get an answer to that. Alright, Houdini Boy asks, do you still like GTA 5? Uh, yes and no. It's gotten kind of boring. There's nothing else to do. Um, even though gun running came out, but there's just so much money that goes into it. So I'm not that into it anymore. But if we can do heist and once in a while, and I try and do it for you guys because I know a lot of you followed me um, when I was playing GTA 5 a lot. So I just try to keep it up on the channel specifically for you guys. Um, it does get kind of boring, like I said, but I guess you can say I still like it because I still play it. If I absolutely loathed it, I wouldn't be playing it, so, yeah. I mean, it's taller. Alright, so Augustine Arroyo asks, Who is more annoying, you or Will? 
What do you got to say about that? Uh, probably, probably me. I annoy myself. <laughs> <laughs> I can barely stand being around myself sometimes. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of annoying too. I think we're kind of annoying in our own ways. Julie's to each annoying. other. I'm like, just like we each have that. our own buttons that we like to push, but I don't know. I think he's just, honestly, he's more annoying when he's one, hungry, and two, tired. That's when he gets his most annoying. Yeah, I've, uh... He doesn't even stop. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm, shut up! <laughs> like, I, 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 sometimes I enjoy being, like, annoying her, you know, getting a reaction out of her. And I know she's just annoying because she's angry or something or upset. And again, I, I kind of get joy out of bugging her sometimes. Like, yay. Seeing her whine. City move. Yeah. I make a city move. All right, you got prank dude asks if you had two choices shave your head or get a tattoo on your face. Um, I would definitely shave my head because my hair would go back and in the meantime I can wear like crazy wigs or something and then like a tattoo is forever and if you get it taken off you have to go back to a couple sessions and it hurts and your skin will like never look the same so I think I would definitely shave my head. I've never tried the snickerdoodle one. I'm pretty excited. Are you going to open it because I want to bite? Okay. I'm not sponsored by the way. Just a fan. All right, Jesus asks, who's your favorite soccer team or player? I don't really watch soccer, but I hear Messi's a pretty good one. Um, and then, I don't know. Babe, do you want to take this one? He really likes soccer. He played soccer growing up, and he's watched soccer pretty much his whole life. So I'm going to go ahead and give this to him. Soccer, favorite team. She, the reason she's saying Messi is because Barcelona is my favorite team. and I didn't you know, know that. Obviously, I'm a Messi <laughs> fan. If you like Barcelona, you're going to like Messi. And of course, that means that I am not a big fan of Real Madrid. Ooh, shots fired! <laughs> but I know, you know, they're a very good team. I definitely will admit that I just, I prefer Barcelona. I like them. I like their style a little bit better. Seth the Great wants to know, what is your favorite video game and what was the first one you ever played? Favorite video game? Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Multiplayer was and first one I ever played, I believe, was Duke Nukem on PC back in the day. Marcus J all day. Have you ever been in a fight? Not a physical one yet, but I have almost thrown down for my friend Danielle one time in high school. This girl came at her, and I was ready. I threw my bag. I put my bag on the ground gracefully, and I was like, if she hits her, like I will, I will hit her too. But this girl ended up chickening out, and thank God because I didn't want to get into a fight. But I was just like, you know, ready to defend my friend. But one day. I want Will and I to get into a bar fight in like Mississippi in a random town that we'll never go back to and win and then go to jail for like a day and be banned from the town. But we won't care because it's a town that we've never been to so and we won't go back. Sam El Sadi asks, what will you do when you reach 100,000 subs? So basically people have voted um, if you were in one of my streams and they want me to do a 24 hour stream. Which seems like a lot, but um, that won't come for a while, like probably not for a long time, so I have time to prepare. Blaze Gaming asks, how many times has people just plain creeped you out and why? Well, I'm not sure why anyone would want to creep me out, but um, you guys know I do work at a bar where people get super drunk, so yes, I've been creeped out my fair share of times. Matthew Atkins asks, what is your dream job? So my dream job would probably be to work with anything to do with video games, which is you know, it's not really surprising. A lot of people are like that, that always play video games. They want to work with video games or with YouTube or something like that. But I would love to work with video games. If I could do YouTube full time, that would be awesome too because I can still play video games and, you know, get paid for it. But yeah, the ultimate goal would be to work for a developer of some sort. Randy Hayes Jr. asks, have you ever played Saints Row? No, I have not. And I don't really know much about it other than it, I think it's kind of like GTA, but I don't think I need two GTAs in my life. I'm already kind of bored of the original GTA, so <laughs> I'm good. Um, Inez MP, what is your favorite type of taco? Um, I love Garden Asada tacos, and it has to have some chopped onions, some cilantro, and lime. That's really important, I need some lime. And then I guess now since I like uh, spicy food, salsa would be good, like some sort of hot salsa. Dick Grayson asks, do you notice me? I see you. Slimes Orange asks, will you ever do a setup tour? 
Daniel Benavides asks, what's the best advice you can give about becoming a streamer? Um, I get asked this question a lot during stream and I'm happy to answer it all the time. I think that it's really valuable information for me anyways, this is what's worked for me. Number one, and I think is the most important, is make sure that you involve and pay attention to your audience because everybody likes that validation that you notice them and you appreciate that they're here and they're taking their time out of their day to watch you play video games and to be with you, so make them feel welcome. Two, um, know how you're going to stream, whether it's gonna be through PS4, which is the easiest way as it seems now. If you're not gonna stream through PS4 or directly from your PC, make sure that you get a capture card. Know the equipment that you need. Believe it or not, it took a lot of trial and error and troubleshooting, like endless troubleshooting, to get my stream the way it is now. There are so many tweaks that you need to do with your encoder or your capture card or your Wi-Fi, your computer, your graphics card, CPU. There's so many things that have to work together to be able to bring a good stream to your viewers. So make sure that you do your research, ask questions. You can ask me questions, ask um, your streamer friends questions, what they do, and um, they'll most likely help you out if they're nice like me. <laughs>